Hello beautiful souls, Life of Tarotchi back with another tarot reading. I hope you're all really, really well. Okay, so this particular reading is going to be forecasting from April to May, okay? This is a collective reading, so all signs will be um, prominent in this reading, okay? So thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for my wonderful subscribers, likes, shares, and comments. I appreciate you all so very much. If you are a newbie, welcome to the channel. Okay, so we are just going to tap into all signs here, a collective reading. Okay, reading from April to May. I was outside channeling your energy a little bit earlier. Um, and there was, for me, if you've watched any of my past readings, connections to past loved ones for me in particular are swallow birds. Okay, there were so many. Um, so we had... First of all, um, there was a pigeon looking over the top. So pigeons for me are a connection to marriage and love and prosperity, okay? So there's someone looking over into the home space or energies where love was formed or is formed, okay? So that's that's um, really beautiful energy. Um, I'd also like to welcome in my spirit team, any spirit guides, past loved ones, the divine creator source. Thank you so much for helping me channel these messages for the collective today. I'm truly grateful for my gifts. Um, so back to the swallow birds. Um, there were, the first one that came out was like, um, the energy was, uh, they're very quick and they, and they dart around very quickly, these beautiful swallow birds. So the first message I got from the first swallow bird is that, confirmation there was energy pointing to the east side or the top of your street okay so whether you've lived on east street um past present or future um there's a particular message in here for you they are drawing me to dancer so it's the way someone moves moves about or expresses their body okay so there's that type of energy um there were quite a few different past loved ones um appearing in the sky okay so um, overall, there was a lot of separate energies, but there are, there were three past loved ones that are connected, okay? So, um, that's specific for someone who's going to see this video, okay? Yeah, so dents are popping out again, alright. So, let's see, thank you spirit team. Um, oh, I love, I love you all so very much. Okay, so let's channel the energy for April to May for all signs. Take it away. What to expect for April to May. Intelligence, travel, flights, and psychology. Uh, they said a little bit more, please. Okay, and I'll flip them over. All right. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we've got central energy is psychology. So this is working with the mind, how it maneuvers through life, um, how it responds and reacts to life situations, okay? Um, they're giving me someone who's very strong in the mind here because this, this is central, right? Um, so this energy is sitting over Aries. You can be an Aries. You don't have to be. You can be dealing with an Aries, okay? But this energy is pointing towards the self-appearance. So someone's seeing you very strong with how you think and apply yourself in life, okay? Um, intelligence coming out between the fifth and the sixth house, okay? So this is someone who's very clever, right? So this is confirming the psychology card in line with the mind in the thoughts. Intelligence is someone who's just... Who knows a lot okay so this is talking about knowledge specifically as a leader or um, being a leader and being knowledgeable with regards to creativity um, or raising children okay so the sixth house um, implies daily routines okay work health fitness regimes so there's something you're actually starting to apply into life healthier measures um, perhaps there's something that you've found that you're like wow okay this is this is helping me and others are seeing this um this change within you okay we've got container sitting over the 12th house so i am currently recording this reading on tuesday the 19th of march um, and we began at 6 26 a.m okay so the six six two six energy is i'm getting passion diplomacy love okay so 
um, container. So finding the passion, all right, passion within the fifth house over to the twelfth house. So this is passion for spirituality as well, passion for spirit, passion for dream state and the subconscious. So we think about a container. It's a box that confines special things, okay? You know, um, they're showing me like a shipping container, okay, which is also applying to this travel and flights, okay, so maybe you're moving to East Street or moving to the east side of town um, or your city, okay, there's something about that energy there, okay, so please be mindful this is a collective reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay, thank you. All right, so they're showing me a shipping container, being able to move, pack your things and go to a bigger, brighter, better place, okay? Um, let's see what we have here between the 10th and 11th house. So we've got travel and flights, weakness, spare parts and electric or electronic. Now, what are, the first thing I noticed with this energy is that the, the text writing here, so we've got blue, green, blue, green, okay? Um, which is very much falling into the color of the light scheme today. <laughs> I, I was conversing with Spirit earlier and I was saying, what color do we want to use for um, April to May reading? And I had blue, but my lights, um, they're forcing into green, okay? So green is all about the heart chakra, okay? Love, compassion, you know, this is feeling all of those beautiful emotions and healing, Okay, so for anyone who has their heart chakra out of balance, they might be feeling a little bit um, resentment. Okay, so feeling a little bit, a little bit of friction towards others or towards themselves. This could be someone who's having a lot of headaches. Okay, or having trouble breathing. So these are indications that your heart chakra is out of balance. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. It may be someone that you're dealing with, and you're going, oh. Okay, I'm having to open my heart out and balance myself a little bit further to deal with this person or this situation. Okay, so we do have electronic here and I love this in the 11th and 10th house because the 10th house talks about public recognition. Okay, your overall direction in life, what you're known for. Okay, these are your overall talents that comes to you really easy, all right? We've got spare parts, so this is like someone maybe sifting through the things that they need, okay, or finding that one bit of item that gets the motor going, okay? So there's a sense here that, you know, we've got weakness in spare parts, so for someone who feels like they don't have that one thing that they need, in transition, when you move, right, when you go somewhere or when you pack, um, this is talking about that energy will be fulfilled, okay? So there's a feeling of someone like, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, okay? And I feel like spirits saying it's okay, it will come about when you start moving about, okay? So travel and flights, up in the air, moving at fast, high-paced speeds, okay? Um, you know, <laughs> spirits just showing, they just showed me um, a bird as a plane, okay? Um, and as I say that... <laughs> Um, so the Superman phrase popped into my head. Um, I, I'm not right into um, comics or anything like that, but you know the old, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Superman. Okay, so Superwoman, all right? So this energy is talking about someone who's just full of endurance, who's able just to take flight, to move about. Um, it's also too, they're giving me like, you know, birds and planes. So... I'm pretty sure, like, this spirit's giving me this, you know, um, the person, whoever invented the plane technology, right? Um, they're talking about, you know, perhaps that energy came from viewing a bird in flight. And that person with a, an, an engineering background, okay, maybe that person was like, hang on, maybe we can, like, put all these spare parts together, make it electronic, and we can build a device that's able to fly like a bird right? So instead of the, um, the wings of the plane flapping, we've got the propellers um, and ignition of aeroplane fuel to drive it, right? So there, there is, you know, we've got natural and mechanical energies here, all right? Um, thank you, Spirit. I love that analogy. <laughs> um, I, I was really excited to do your readings today because just the love that was coming from those birds this morning, um, just there's so many past loved ones connecting around you, like, and they're really happy. The first word that came in um, with that first group of birds, the three, was 
I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Okay, so there's someone who has a past loved one who's seeing what you're doing and they're very happy that, you know, maybe this is like a weakness that you were just like, oh, I just can't. I'm not able to do that. It's like someone's overcome their weakness, whether you do it yourself or you're helping someone else. But this, there's just like tremendous breakthroughs here. Um, and, you know, I, I always say like when we did discover your life's purpose readings, um, we had weakness in, in, in thoughts and minds confirmation. Okay. Um, so they're giving me, <laughs> they're giving me the energy of once you conquer your weakness, it becomes a second strength. So there's no need to fear your own abilities because it's you that are able to work through them, you know? All right. So we do have forensic and translator up here and then eighth and ninth house. Okay. So um, the eighth house talks about death and transformation. Okay, so I am getting spirit coming in through here, right, with forensics. So generally forensics come in when there's like criminal activity that's occurred. Um, this is giving me past energy because of um, spirit is of of past living, right? So they're in the spirit realm and I feel like they're really communicating through the heart chakra, especially through this reading, through the green and through you. Okay, um, so the eighth house we just spoke about. The ninth house is spirituality, religion, um, higher education, or international travel. Okay, so we do have someone. This I could be that could be me speaking as a translator, or there is someone who is a stranger. Okay, who says something profound to you. All right, so this is like angelic forces using that physical body to communicate that message through to you. Okay, so. Um, if you're feeling really comfortable with this, this stranger just sort of passing you by and saying something really profound, this is angelic forces um, translating that information, okay? Um, all right, so where would you like me to go, Spirit? They're showing me the light seers to row, okay? So, all right, so there's something about, I kept seeing this card in the pre-shuffle of this reading, so... Um, this is coming to coming to terms with past heartaches. Okay, um, this energy always gives me the energy like of you know there's a heart here that has two forms of maybe claws, right? So someone's intentionally clawed at your heart, but we also paying attention to you know this is someone who wears their heart outside of them. You're seen as someone who's really lovely, really wonderful, really caring, really compassionate. All right, you nurture your surroundings. Um, and you know, to wear your heart out on your sleeve, so to speak, we've got ties here, right? Attachments to your heart space or someone you're dealing with. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ties to someone's heart space. Okay. So this is someone being pulled in many directions in the past. It's giving me because we have the queen of pentacles up here, right? This is someone who's worked through all of the pentacle suite to get to us a level of um, contentment, of happiness, right? This this energy is sitting here with their eyes closed, okay? And this energy has blue eyeshadow, right? So this is um, communicating what they see, okay? And this is this is coming from a space of peace, all right? All right, thank you so much, Spirit. So um, they just wanted me to call out the major signs here so we've got Aries you could be Aries or dealing with one um, Leo or Virgo you could be one or dealing with one we've got Scorpio Sagittarius Capricorn Aquarius and Pisces okay so you don't have to be any of those signs these may be the energies that you're enduring um, throughout April and May okay spirit thank you so much let's confirm this psychology card over self-appearance yeah okay so Particularly, we've got the Eight of Cups here. So in this particular deck, it's talking about um, it's talking about the energies of, you know, someone's walking away, right? You either you're walking away towards your your best self, right? You're walking away from a situation and walking towards your North Node, the light there. Look, um, right. So this is sitting over self appearance and psychology here. So this you walking towards your North Node, towards the light. All right. Um, this energy is facing the ninth house. So this is like spiritually guided. Your spirit team are guiding you towards a certain place. Okay. This is giving me, you know, we've got a cup here. Um, 
even though it's the eight of cups we just have one major cup floating in this river bed or this um, foundation of water it is on fire right so we could be you could be dealing with a water or a fire sign so water signs are cancer pisces scorpio fire signs are aries leo and sagittarius right um, but the energies are speaking about um, okay so home and family how energy is transformed through the subconscious while seeing yourself in a creative or leadership position and moving towards your the energy that drives you throughout life okay so that's that type of energies that are there I am getting goosebumps um, from like shoulders to toes so this is like someone's really feeling guided to push and walk right so there are footprints in the sand here or in the grass. So this is leaving those um, rocky emotions behind. Okay, that's quite lovely. So there's, there's like thinking through past situations that, that didn't bring you any type of, um, you know, this is like someone realizing that they were living in their south node. Okay, and they're walking towards their north node now. Okay, so this is someone who is being held back from their own abilities to conquer their own achievements okay that's that's lovely they said one more here oh yes i love this so we've got to the eight of cups to the ten of cups here right this ten of oh. sorry i'm just feeling a little overwhelmed we've got ten of cups and ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here that's really beautiful energies um so we've got happiness in home and family, in love in particular. So, you know, reviewing marriage, reviewing or renewing marriage bonds or ties or finding that person who you know is the one, okay? This could also be connecting to families and they're showing me the Brady Bunch. <laughs> that type of energy too, you know, maybe you have a child and that other person has a child and you're coming together as an entire family, okay? Um, but this overall energy from the top to the bottom is absolute happiness, right? We've got fulfillment in the home, fulfillment in the heart with love, 1717 on the timer, okay? And then the Ten of Pentacles here. So, you know, someone's got a puppy dog as well. Um, Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, bringing abundance together because when you find peace and happiness, everything tends to flow, okay? Everything moves. Oh, I'm just, I'm getting goosebumps all over. Thank you so much, Spirit. This is also true. Someone wished, someone made a wish. Someone wished for love, wished for happiness, okay? And it wasn't over anyone in particular. This person wished to be loved. And when that person, you or someone else, moves into that love energy for self, they find their direct counterpart, their other half, okay? That's, thank you, Spirit. So they're saying... You know, where someone thought something something was missing, it's found on your journey. Wow. Because this is, yeah, look, oh, yes, thank you, spirit. Um, we've got the lovers here, right? So this is someone making a wish upon a star, right? Wishing on the north node, walking towards the north node, healing towards the north node. This is moving away from any pain of the past, sleepless nights. Because we've got the lovers here, someone wished for pain to leave and for love to come okay that is so beautiful energy so you know the ten of cups here over container um, and psychology is connecting these energies so love within oneself there's a love of your mind and the way that you think and then apply yourself people see this within you see this on you it's like you exuberate this energy and because of that you're attracting the love of your life right? If you're already with the love of your life, maybe you're making transitions to improve your relationship. Maybe moving to this new place um, just invigorates everything that was and makes it more than it can ever be, right? That's so beautiful energy. Okay, Spirit, let's confirm intelligence here with the fifth and sixth house with the collective. intelligence thank you so this this is um 
Queen of Cups on the bottom with Justice. Okay, so this energy here. Oh, yes, love it, love this. Okay, so this particular card, Ace of Swords, is the beginning of intelligence, or this is someone who's able to use their mind, everything that they learnt in their life experience to bring it together um, as a leader or to raise children. Um, but this energy, like we've got, you know, we've got mapping of the soul. We have direction of light. We've got the infinity symbol, okay? Black magic is leaving someone, all right? Because it's not, this crow is leaving this person, right? So um, black feathers are ties to black magic. So this is releasing that energy. We've got um, mathematic equations here, okay? I'm not, a, I'm not a mathematician or anything like that. I'm just pointing out all of these energies. Um, wow. So, Spirit's giving me you being intelligent, right? Ace of Swords is, you know, the beginning of thought and creativity. Um, not to say you weren't before, but this it's like your, your mind is taking you to new levels, okay? It's like you've unlocked something within that just opens up. This also could be someone too, finally feeling safe enough to express the things that come through their mind, okay? Because see this beam of light that's shining through the mind? These are connections to the, the divine consciousness, right? 2122 two, two on the timer. These are connections to high source, right? So um, someone has a nose piercing that's specific for someone, okay? Um, Oh, they're also showing me a bull here, like um, a Taurus bull with, you know, how they put the the bull piercings in their nose. Um, that's what they're giving me. Okay. So when we say, when I'm saying Taurus here, this is like Taurus's energy is speaking to st stability within the mind. Okay. Seeing the finer things in life. All right. And being able to obtain that through personal possessions, okay? How you earned your experience, how you make your money, all right? This is your security in the physical world and it's all coming from within. So think people are seeing that about you. So that's really beautiful energy here because this is being able to make the right decision and move forward. Because this Seven of Cups here talks about, you know, making making a choice between all of these cups. Um, they're giving me this, this snake energy for transformation away from you know, snakes shed their skin, okay? They renew themselves. Oh, I've never noticed this before. We've got like a masquerade mask here, just sort of sitting on its own. I'm not sure if you can actually see that energy. Um, and we've also got a castle, all right? So it's like you're moving towards, we've got um, this, like a reef um, here, which is kind of giving me Greek energies um roman okay um so this is you being smart enough to make the right decision this is not being fooled by any illusions okay because someone's free within their energy <sighs> okay thank you so much spirit let's let's see what this um Electronic spare parts, weaknesses, travel, and parts. Thank you. Okay, so cards facing down are someone else's energy and yours. Okay, so this particular energy, I feel like you're being driven towards this change. Okay, so all these cards are facing outwards, right? So someone else's energy outside of you. All right, I'm just going to spin them around so I can read. <laughs> Something you're doing or you're going to do between April and May is helping someone open their heart further, okay? They're able to release any painful emotions, okay? So we've got seven and seven here, ace and ace here, right? So this energy is aligning to someone outside of you. Someone's finding peace because it's like they don't feel tied anymore. They don't feel locked in that corner, locked in a box, right? Because five is the number of change, freedom, adventure, okay? And of course, in saying that, we've got the world, number 21, confirming the 2122 before, okay? So 
being protected by your spirit team as as you move forward but also this person could be providing you some type of protection oh wow we've got three aces out here so we've got ace of swords ace of cups and ace of wands so this is someone like in all of these cards these are all individual energies okay so because you're you're starting this this thought process or you're implementing these thoughts into your daily practice okay you know leo's house also um the fifth house talks about romance okay how we raise our children how we show them the love of the world and how to navigate that as their sole purpose as a leader right them as their leader for themselves how they guide themselves right so this is really beautiful energy so someone's you're helping someone celebrate themselves away and out of um any heartbreak or change especially when it comes to feeling abandoned feeling alone that that energy is being set free here so the ace of wands is someone who's really passionate they're really driven um, and this is someone who's got a lot of business ideas okay where for you it's like yes you've got business ideas but you sort of draw that energy from love and creativity okay and so how we guide ourselves through life as our own leaders okay we're able to do that for others but it's something about doing this perfectly um, and being proud of the choices that you make because they lead to you and someone else to feeling feeling passionate right so we've got the knight of wands here um these these are self celebration okay so this also could be true because this energy fell out right over here between the 11th and 12th house so this energy is very much you know socially with friends um the 11th house for me is the like the internet um anywhere where people can like sort of tap into okay these are also like a fulfillment of someone's wish maybe they wished for love and here you come okay um maybe they wished for greater balance within the relationship and here you are um this is also true connecting to the 12th house is is um <sighs> perhaps there's a past life where you did well and you came back um and this karma, this good karma is being repaid because it's like you help someone through this energy, okay? So this is spiritual healing for someone else, okay? Um, I am just going to flag those as someone else's energies. So we know. So there's, um, I'm still learning all the crystals here, but um, this one's the money stone and I'll have to, have to get out, um, the name of it but it's if you want to sort of look it's got um you know it's mainly dark green but it's got light green splotches through it and bits of red okay so if you know what that stone is feel free to comment that below but that stone's sitting over self-celebration okay so wherever you've walked in the past leads you to love right because you've mastered yourself in a way and then there's the fourth there's the fourth ace right so there's new 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 things are being um brought into where they should be and it's all because of the work that you've done on mastering yourself so you know wherever you've put your energy to in the past all of these things have led you to where you are today tomorrow and the next day right so this is being proud of this the decisions that you've made <laughs> okay all right, so um, I am going to use Orion's Animal Tarot for this forensic translator. Yes, we've got justice here. The owl in general is about knowledge, higher knowledge, okay? Um, and for certain tribes in Australia, the traditional tribes of Australia, um, Aboriginal tribes, the owl represents one of three, okay? Um, so this is talking about warnings okay but the owl overall is bringing knowledge to someone okay and this is this is frequency of air so speech and sound okay vibrations all right we've got the queen of cups showing up again on the bottom so um some type of knowledge or sound of frequency vibrations that comes through you just from spirit 
um, brings you brings you to into greater harmony you know this is this is balancing the spiritual and physical worlds within you and how you navigate between them okay all right so what's this here spirit please? okay so this could be the spiritual energy or someone else's energy um eight and ninth house here so ace of cups thank you um <laughs> Yeah, so this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Cups, okay, so um, for those of you who are currently single at the moment, this is talking about this person's so close within your energe energetic sphere, um, it's like you don't realize it, and where you move and travel to, you you get closer to them, okay. For others who are already together and proving on their love buns, this energy is talking about each of you feeling comfortable with navigating your own emotions, right? We've got pink ties to pink flowers here. Um, so, you know, pink, especially sitting over the ninth house, is your religion, your spirituality, your higher education. There's some type of alignment here that brings you both together, okay? So what's the Ace of Cups in spirit? Thank you. So someone who's really firm in leadership. Yeah, we've got three. So you, them, and then the union you bring together, okay? Oh, success with the sun there. So emperor on the bottom and the hierophant. So this, this has been aligned um, for the right time. Nine of cups, right? So someone's currently sitting in the nine of cups right now. And this connection brings it into the ten of cups, right? So there's equal energies of the two. I love this reading. Okay, so, you know, someone's able to navigate their emotions through what they were taught or how they believe to walk their life, okay? This is really serving someone's um, growth and wealth, okay? So we've got the sun here with success, absolute success, someone who works with geometry or shapes, okay? Um, i just seen someone using a hula hoop, okay, surf de soleil. Um, there is... You know, sunflower energy here, the sunflowers, you know, they're bright and yellow, okay? So yellow is the energy of happiness, right? And yellow is tied to the solar plexus. This is personal power, your confidence and your motivation, okay? So this is the energy that gives you that force. Um, to recognize when someone else's solar plexus is out of balance, okay? They're going to have energies with having to control others around them, all right? Um, then they're going to have weak boundaries. So, you know, allowing others to step over their needs before they provide for themselves. Okay. Um, but that's not giving me your energy. That's just information for when to know your chakras are out of balance. Okay. The three of cups here. This is so beautiful. Like look at all these flowers here connecting in with colors, right? That's just gorgeous. So the three of cups here is the union of three. All right, aligning three emotions that come together. Um, this is coming together to have fulfillment of emotions, mind, body, and spirit um, as a whole. Okay, so um, specifically for those other energies, um, like I said before, someone may have three children and you're combining your families. Um, There's, there's some type of success with this, or this is, um, you know, renewing your vows if you don't already have children yet. This is making the moves to um, to have your family, okay? So three is the number. Maybe you'll have your first child on the third month um, or the third year of, of connecting with this person, or maybe you already have, okay? So this is past, present, or future energies for that particular message, even though we're reading from April to May, okay? So take that how it resonates. Um I love this. They're so cute. Okay, so I did buy a new deck, but I haven't done a review for it. And I must say that this deck is so, um, so positive, so beautiful. Um, it's the Arch Archangel Power Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. Okay, um, I've been playing with these for the last week and they're just, I just love their energy. So thank you, Radley Valentine. I do love this deck. It's quite beautiful. It's all about the Archangel energy. So um, I am going to use them as guidance today. 
um, rather than using any oracles. Okay, so let's see. All right, so thank you so much. Let's see what the energy here is in the guidance. Yes, okay, so we've got decisions there, number 15. And the sun showing up on the bottom, so double confirmation of energy. I will just place this over here. So the sun card, life is wonderful. Thrive through power of positive thinking, which we've confirmed this here, and inspiring success, okay? So there's a lot of beautiful energy there. Same with the, um, the sunflower cards. All right, so just recognizing symbolism across different decks there. So, you know, the energy is carried across, okay? So sunflowers are specific for someone, maybe you grow them, maybe there's um, a, a sign to those, those, those um, flowers. Okay, so we've got decisions over travel and movement, okay, or public um, recognition, um, or finding that thing that's missing on your transition and your movement, okay. So we've got decisions here. Release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. Okay, so this energy here is um, tied to the third eye chakra in specific, okay? So this is insight, awareness, and your spiritual intuition, okay? So they're saying if someone's third eye is out of you know, balance, this is having difficulty making decisions, right? So, you know, this is worrying for that, what we think of, um, we attract, okay? So this is about being positive and maybe you're helping someone else be more positive within their mindset so they attract more positivity and positive outcomes in life, okay? All of these doves here are beautiful. Um, pigeons and doves are related in species, I believe. Um, I believe. Um, I think that's correct. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But this, these, the auras around all of these doves here, right? We've got the pink, the purple, the blue, the green, the yellow, the orange, green, yellow, red. Okay, so we're missing the orange here, which is, you know, the sacral energy of creativity, sexuality, desire, and pleasure. Okay, so this is, you know, specifically for someone who's single now, release any past emotions where you had trouble with those energies, all right? Maybe someone did you dirty, okay? Um, maybe you feel really embarrassed about what this person's done to you and you haven't quite spoke up or processed that energy yet. Maybe you have processed that energy and you're able to acknowledge that you've healed yourself from that. Okay, so this is why this new these new beginnings are coming into you. Okay, so spirit by bringing this card here, Archangel Jophel, uh, Jophel, please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But one in five here is saying have the confidence to independently bring bring change and freedom to yourself. Right. So this person, this angel. This angel, archangel here, is actually releasing the birds, the doves from the cage, okay? So you are no longer bound by that past relationship, okay? You are no longer bound by the troubles that that person or situation had caused you. And you are no longer carrying any shame for that they um, had done you wrong, okay? So spirit doesn't want you to bring any of those fears into your current relationship or to this new relationship that you're meeting, all right? Because is it doesn't serve this new beginning all right that's so beautiful all right so we've got king of michael principled rationale ambitious and respected okay so we're talking about wisdom and objectivity are important now so stay in your integrity a situation that calls for open and honest communication i flipped those words around sorry okay so michael's coming in heavy archangel michael um, is coming in heavy into this reading. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, once again, yellow flowers, yellow roses. Okay. Um, yellow, your personal power, you know, your motivation towards your journey. We do have the doves up there in the background. They're flying free now. Okay. So releasing all those past energies and now finding your way to find your speech and to communicate that energy. It's beautiful. And it's sitting over your happiness, right? Your Ten of Cups. 
walking away from past situations into happier new ones. So Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. Time to move quickly. Thank you for confirming the travel and flights. And once again, to the east side, something about the east or the eastern horizon. All right. East Street, something about that energy. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotions, which, you know, which you're able to do that through your energy of experience through life. OK, we've got sudden changes coming here. So, you know, whether someone's coming right in to sweep you off your feet or that missing that missing part comes straight to you. All right, we've got Page of Raphael here, gentle, loving, dreamy, open hearted. So a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. Okay, so see, see this energy here, this, we've got your spirit team around you heavily, right? Your archangels, your guides, your ancestors, past loved ones, all right? They, they govern these messages that come through to you and you're heavily protected at this time. Okay, so this woman, this, um, she's wrapped in deep blue greens and light blues okay that's quite beautiful energy so this is someone once again who wears their heart on their sleeve who expresses their emotions freely right without fear or without shame of the past number five michael five of michael this situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach so this this energy here okay I feel like this energy is tied to, all right, so there's a situation in the past that no longer serves you, even though I feel like this may be recent past or the past past, okay, maybe a past life. There's some type of energy that's being cleared out, right? And I am going to read for these, I'm going to read for this one and this one as guidance. Okay, so five of Michael. So whatever situation in the past didn't serve you, stop and reconsider if the actions you're planning are worth your time and energy. You may very well win the day, but there is much, there is such a responsibility or a possibility that there won't be much to celebrate in the end. Where is this referring to? I saw these cards were positive up until this, this one. So this is like... Okay, so all of these came out with this one first and those next. This card was sitting on the bottom of that energy, okay? Ask your angels if there are other or more uplifting paths you might follow. So there's, this talks about someone who's worried um, about where they're going to, okay? So I feel like Archangel Michael wants you to release that, that thing that's holding you back, okay? There's a lot of negative energy coming from the people involved in this situation that doesn't match your vibration. Okay. Archangel Michael can help you vacuum away all that negativity. So consider re releasing your attachment to the outcome as it's too draining. Make more optimistic plans. Even if things don't turn out the way you'd hoped, value that you've learned and tried again with improved information. So the additional meaning of this card is negative thinking, wasted energy, or a need for a greater self-awareness. So maybe this is like, this feels like worry for the past that it may occur again. So, you know, healing those past energies, um, you know, because we opened up with the Eight of Cups here. So walking away from something that no longer served you and heading towards your North Node where you're meant to be what you signed and agreed before coming into this lifetime, okay? Um, so this, you know, whether this is a past relationship or a past situation that just didn't serve you any good, this is talking about being able to heal that energy away from you, okay? I will pull one more card just to, how do we cleanse out this energy, please? Okay, so it is to do with someone else, okay? So there's some type of energy where you took a leap of faith towards the past. Okay, so we've got the wheel on the bottom and the fool. Okay, so there's a situation that's holding you back from believing in yourself. Okay, so your archangels, especially Michael, wants you to listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. Right, so new beginnings and end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Once again, 10, 10, 10. We've got... There is so much to be grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich, rewarding family life, confirming 
you know, the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles showing up earlier. So there's just one little bit of energy where it's causing someone to worry a bit, okay? Okay, so it will be all better if you just make a decision. So overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. So we've got unicorns here, um, the two minds clashing. Which is, you know, psychology. This is maybe true thoughts or true frames of mind or like you and someone else. All right, so divine guidance. The search for meaning in life. So this is the energy of heading towards your north node where you're meant to be, where you feel destined, okay? Um, you're going to get there regardless, but it's not in the way that you think it will occur. So surround yourself with wise teachers or friends, okay? So that, that energy felt... I hope that's making sense for someone. Okay, so like you've got happy, good outcomes coming in, right? You've got success at success here, positive thinking, you're intelligent enough to make the right decisions, okay, not be persuaded or misguided by anything that causes illusions, right, it's like use your intuition to make your choices, okay, making sure everything's in alignment and in balance before proceeding, there's already something set into plan though, so I feel like, you know, spirits like, look, let that worry go, let the past go, the past no longer serves you, for that it was just a lesson. Okay, so we've got number 19. The sun. Life is wonderful. Great things are headed your way and your plans will be succeeded beyond your wildest dreams. Keep your thoughts and words positive and you will thrive. Okay, so that's letting go that past negativity and staying in that positive um, headspace. Believe in yourself and those around you during this magical time in life. Archangel Uriel brings brilliant epiphanies to those who ask for help in this situation. So this card here gives me epiphanies and intelligence, okay? So that stream of light coming from in, above. Um, okay, so epiphanies to those who ask for help. Inspiring new ideas lead the way to abundance and happiness. We've got public recognition. Or rewards are also very possible during this time so April to May the additional meetings for the Sun card is happiness a trustworthy relationship okay understanding of oneself and personal satisfaction Uriel is the Archangel known for brilliant ideas that come in golden flashes of light <laughs> I love that he is also associated with emotional healing right um, and understanding, okay. Call upon Archangel Uriel whenever you're searching for a sunny disposition that will bring, that will bring with it such success and exuberance, okay. Yes, I, f I feel strongly that, you know, in able to move forward, we've got career advancement, success and acknowledgement by others, Joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, and answer th answers come through meditation. Excellent opportunities will be offered to you, so scholarships or the pursuit of education, so time to get things moving. And release the past, you will grow from this situation as time heals all wounds. Okay, so that's for someone who keeps, you know, their mind keeps bringing them back to this situation. You know, did I do the right thing by leaving this situation behind? Yes, you did, because you feel and know deep down that your true happiness is here, right? It's, it's meant to be, all right? So not need to hold on to any past energies for that they teach us what the things that we need to learn so we can move forward with all of our abundance and love, okay? So I hope that this opened your heart um, and gave you a bit of confirmation from April to May, okay? Um, your spirit team, right? Your forensic translators coming up through the eighth house of change and transformation. Um, you know, things are wonderful, it's success surrounds you, okay, let go of the doubt and the fear for that it never serves you. All right, my beautiful souls, thank you so much for your, for your energy, when I say thank you for your energy, thank you for existing, thank you for living, um, and thank you for joining me so much, okay, so until the next reading, take care and bye for now.